Hello YouTube! I am Pinstar, and this is Stardew Valley The Lazy Farmer Build Episode 55? Let's go with that for now. Um, sort our inventory here. Alright, so we have uh, had a couple of days of rain, but I think it is sunny time. Hello Maru, I have to leave for work soon. Boy, don't they give you maternity leave? I mean, granted, that would be an interesting update for someone to do, is to actually give them different character models when they are pregnant. Uh, but, I mean, that'd be a bit much, because you have to do it for ten, well, no, not ten. Uh, five, maybe six, uh, once the update goes in. But regardless, uh, living off the land. Wait, what am I? Fish focus. I don't, <laughs> I'm not touching fish for a while. Uh, good humor, and oh, what the hay. We'll check the weather. Rain. Wow, lots of rain. And... Oh, Pinstar, you idiot. You idiot. Oh. This, my friends, is... Yeah. Yeah, so, um... Remember how we bought those six trees? I knew I had to do something with them. There's something really clever I was going to do with them in conjunction with our little build here. Um, but then I kind of not didn't read all of my notes completely as to what specifically I'm supposed to do with those stupid trees. So I just planted them off to the side, knowing that I had to plant them somewhere. Uh, no. So um, as evidenced by these dry patches here, these are where the trees are supposed to go because they are outside the reach of uh, our, our uh, scarecrows here. Um, so, yeah. Uh, this is the great outfoxing of one's self. So, uh, looks like I'm buying some more fruit trees. Uh, that was dumb of me. So, there's two fruit trees that's supposed to go there. Uh, I know, I'm wasting a butt ton of money, but I will be caught dead before I uh, actually... Gons farmed it. Before I actually water something manually, because we are the freaking lazy farmer. We do not do manual watering. That's kind of the whole thing of this. When... Which is why I was glad, so happy that the uh, rain came. You know what, we're just going to throw down some mixed seeds on that one space that I accidentally hacked apart. Because um, I can't be bothered to go buy some more. So we'll see what that brings us. Uh, but yeah, these were all supposed to be the trees. One, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And these are freaking strawberries that I'm hacking apart here. Not happy with that. But what can you do? You fix your mistakes and you live with them. All right, Rarity, let's go to town and get us some more fruit trees, shall we? How's it going, Pam? Not today. Not today. We're fixing our mistakes. Now, if I'm going to Pierre's anyway, I might as well buy a seed from him for that one I hacked piece. Oh yeah, and we all also got to get some uh, jazz seeds for our flowers here. Um, get a few more grass starters uh, just to try and get that uh, that area going here, and then let's take a look here. Um, uh, actually, a pomegranate. I think I'm gonna go with all pomegranates here uh, for all ten of them, just because it will keep the type of goods consistent. Um, for mass production. And it'll all be ready by fall. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pomegranate trees. Many pomegranates now handle them. 
And what was the new, uh, what was the new super special seed that you got in that, oh yeah, the garlic. We'll get a garlic seed for that one that I hacked. I'm hacking me some garlic seeds. I'll make them grow with diamonds. Not that kind of hacking. All right. So once we get our trees in place, then we can go about our day as, well, originally planned. Yeah, and we'll find a place for those. Find a place for those. Find a place for that. Yeah, see here, it works out quite nicely because it's, it's, it, it's got space on all sides here. So I was gonna, I was gonna be like really freaking clever. Um, but then, yeah, I outfoxed myself. And we are going to repeat this with, uh, with the rest of our stuff here, where we throw down fruit trees. Uh, what am I going to do with these? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm going to let them, I'm going to leave them there for now, but they might be in the way of a future, uh, thing. So we'll, we'll see. Um, rarity come to me. Hey, let's get these grass starters down. Maybe get a little patch of them growing over here in the corner. Hopefully the goats do not eat them. In fact, I'm going to actually leave the goats still penned in for a bit. Um, and actually get these get these taken up here so the grass has room to expand because I want I want this to turn into a self-sustaining blob o grass uh, that will just constantly feed the goats on sunny days all right folks well you've seen these milk uh, goats here so uh, fast forward We are back. We are done with the goat milkening. Also, one of my uh, eagle-eyed viewers pointed out that our uh, pasture here is not fully sealed in, and you are correct. Uh, I think I left my walls in here. And eh, dang it, the quantum uh, quantum honey is produced, and I haven't planted my stuff yet. Hmm. You know what? You know what? Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to, I'm going to institute a policy of, uh, of basically uniformity. We, uh, in, while we were, um, harvesting up the goats, the, uh, all, all of our, uh, all of our jars were, were ready. Uh, that's not the case here with my kegs. My kegs here are, are, uh, are asynchronous. They, they are ready at different times. And that's less temporally efficient to go about doing them bit by bit. Not to mention we are slowly making this area take over with, uh, with ancient fruits here. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to leave these like that for the sole purpose of, uh, of uh, getting myself, uh, getting all these basic, basically synchronized. Basically, I'm going to wait for the entire room to be done, and then I'll harvest it all in one go, re-up it all in one go, and then everything will be ready in one go once again. There's my walls. Um, yeah, you guys can go in there. You can go in there. You guys go in there. I still got to plant those garlic seeds, don't I? But yeah, that's that's gonna my be my plan. So a slight, slight slowdown in productivity in the short run, but a much greater uptick in productivity in the long run. And you know what? These beehives, they, they need to be somewhere. Uh, I guess I can't pen, pen them in like that. They, I gotta move them. 
Uh, they are not in a convenient location. Uh, where I might put them, actually, here's an idea. What if I well put them in their in their original spot here? If we do a something like a, a like that and a that and a that and a that. We'll go here and get one of our El Basico sprinklers. Still, still has a use. Still have a use for the. Oh, and actually, yeah, one, one scarecrow, so they don't get crowed. And uh, yeah, basically, throw down the sprinkler just as before. And you guys, we got our jazz seeds here. And let's get you guys available, actually. See? Yeah. Why don't you? And then from here, yeah, we'll just do one, two, three, and four. We're not going to go completely crazy over uh, honey here. Uh, our focus is more going to be about preserves and kegs than it is honey. Alright, um, yeah, put a wall here, put a wall here, although that doesn't look very good, but it's functional, so it'll work, um, and now they can't get out, and neither can the cat, but that works. You keep, uh, you keep them goats company. Alright, we'll go plant this, uh, one thing of garlic. In the spot that I mangled. All right, have I done anything? Is everything else good? I think so. Let's take a quick spin up to our northern camp because uh, that, that leads into one other thing that I'm planning. I am actually going to be planning on disassembling it and moving everything back to the farm because really the whole freaking purpose of us having this camp here is um, so I could go fishing. Um, and uh, I'm not really doing that anymore. Uh, I'm not doing those fish and smelt days where I just sit here and do nothing but uh, fish while I, oh, do I have my pan on me? I don't. Do I have my pan near me? Uh, I do. Let's get that. that. Whoa, not bad. Glad I saw that. I think that might be good for another smelt or two. I wish it would consolidate items between our in two inventories when I hit the organize button. That would make things so much easier. Because, uh, yeah, the peaches aren't going to do us any good. Um, let's put the garbage up there to consolidate it with anything else that might be up there. Same with the coal. Um, same with the... Uh, let's keep the fish. All right. Consolidate. Put the milk up here. The milk up here. And, um, yeah, we'll get the garbage on the next run through here. And plus what uh, smelting, whatever coal based things we need. Also, since we have all this wood here, uh, let's start, uh, let's start churning that for extra coal here. Uh, we get two smelts out of the iron. Two, one, two, and a and not the broken seat, but we'll do the glasses. That way I can just take the stack of, of those things. 
Okay. Glasses, view, you. And actually, let me take. What else needs smelting, really? Uh, copper? Not really. Well, well, actually, no, I could smelt a few bits of copper. Let's get. Let's get some copper to smelt here, at least as much as, as we have coal. It's all about that efficiency. Okay, uh, let us, while those churn and burn, let us churn and burn some wood here for some extra coal goodness. And actually, since we have the stuff, oak resin, uh, gold bars, iron bars, clay, I think we can manufacture ourselves up a bunch of kegs. What am I missing? Copper. Well, ask and ye shall receive. Ask for more room, and uh, uh, we'll make it. Put this stone wall away, the stone away, the hardwood away. A few more cheese things might not be a bad idea, too. What do we need to make a cheese thing? Stone! 45 stone. I think we can handle that. <laughs> so let's make some more cheese makers. Yeah, because that just needs copper bars. Man, we can mass produce all these. All right, three more cheese makers is uh, well, very blessed. Um, I'm just, I mean, I'm going to be mig migrating the camp over there, so. All right, you guys have given me coal. You guys need to start churning me up some more. I think that's all be all I need for that. Aha! Uh -huh. Get a second round of uh, garbage going in here. We'll just take the five broken CDs and just churn all that. All right, uh, preserves jar. Boom. Uh, what else do we need? Copper bar, iron bar. You can do that. Copper bar, iron bar. Keg, keg, keg. Wood. <laughs> yeah, I go through the stuff quickly, but there's more to be had. Thank goodness. Oops. Might as well get that cooking. We'll smelt up some more copper. I guess it is quite evident that we do need the, the smelted copper bars for a lot of our stuff here. Uh, put you away. What else? Uh, the clay belongs up there. The oak resin belongs up here. Uh, the stone belongs up here. All right, that should be good. All right, plenty of churning and burning to be done, and just in time to, uh, well, be prompted to go to sleep. Back to the bus stop. Hello, Rarity. Worms. A copper ore. Yay. All right, let's go sell all this junk. All you, all you, all you, I'll, I'll do the peaches. All right, plenty of money. Plenty of cash. And even more once we get our preserves uh, production lines up. All right, once again, a nice rainy day. It is Friday. Oh, 
well, thank you, hon. That's, uh, that's actually legitimately useful. Beautiful day tomorrow. Excellent. So she was up late last night making bombs. I hope the FBI doesn't have her on her on their list. Okay. Well, I got to keep the doors closed anyway, but this will give these uh, give this grass a chance to start spreading out and taking over the area. All right, poking my head in here just to see. All right, we're not quite on synchronized time yet. I will harvest the stuff that's in here because eventually it's all going to be replaced by. Uh, uh, ancient fruit stuff, which it's it in of itself will get synchronized. So that this whole greenhouse only needs to be visited once every X number of days. And you dried up. That's okay. I won't make the same mistake I, I did last time. All right, come on, give me some, give me a triple, give me a triple, a triple, sweet. Okay. Um, switch to the axe, boom, boom, and go for the triple. All right, uh, I don't think I have any more real room in here uh, for you guys. Oh, I didn't sell the wild honey. No, actually, we'll keep on, we'll keep those peaches. We'll use that for our first bits of, uh, of preserving in here. Yeah, we don't really have much room for, for other stuff in here. So we're going to start uh, making making use of our second barn. So one's going to be all preserves jars, and this one's going to be all kegs. Uh, set up in much the same way as the original was set up with preserves jars. Keg, keg, and keg. And we'll bring up those peaches that I was carrying around and get them started. Oh. Oh, my. oh okay, good. About to say. So as I manufacture myself up some more, uh, uh, some more kegs, they will populate here. And I have a feeling I'll be making a great deal more in kegs than I will be in preserves jars just because of the coal bottleneck. That being said, I do need to make myself, uh, I do need to make myself uh, a, a bunch more, uh, uh, well, I need to cut down myself a whole bunch more trees. Uh, so that will be higher on my priority list here. In fact, that might be my go-to item for the day today during this rainy day. All right, let me go uh, milk these guys. I'll see you guys on the flip side. Oh, and the other reason to, uh, all right, maybe I won't see you on the flip side because I'm going to keep on yapping here. Um, maybe uh, the other reason to go down there is today is Friday. We can poke our head in there, uh, see what uh, the uh, rare items trader has for sale. Because uh, they still might have something good. We're not we're not looking for like the the week one drop of a, an iridium sprinkler, um, like you're hoping for in the early game, which we did not get. But that's okay. But you never know when you know something else might come up. Move, move! Oh God, you're wasting so much of my day. Ah. Oh wait, I almost forgot. I have a preserves jar that I need to drop off here and fill it with peach. Oh my god, no. Okay. Um, hmm, do I want to focus on moving or moving my thing or chopping down trees? 
Um, are there a lot of trees to chop down? I mean, there's a few stray ones, but they're still kind of all growing back. Uh, so you know what? Let's uh, let's actually start focus on moving ourselves, moving our our, uh, our our thing up from up there. And what the heck? Sell the hops. Oh wait, I never put the uh, scarecrow up there. Let's go do that real quick. Now, as far as where we're going to put it, um, we can put it right here, because that's all ground that you can put processors on that's not, uh, um, that's not like fertile crop growing or tree growing ground. That being said, we may need to take a few trips. Um, and ultimately, ooh, oh my, what do we have here? No. Uh -oh. Dang it, I thought you were Iridium. Yeah, I might as well ch uh, get, get all of these to make room for other stuff to appear that is potentially Iridium. And it seems to have pretty good coal drops. And it should be building my mining skill anyway, so... Why not? Why not? All right. Yep. All the cheese. All the cheese. Yeah, moving this. All this. This is. This is gonna be a big move. Now you might be saying, "Hell, Pinstar, what are you? What about these? Uh, what about all these uh, traps? I mean, are you going to get them? Yeah, I'm going to move them. I got a place for them, and this is the one time I actually want to pick up the traps too. So we'll start with them. Might as well collect their goodies while we're at it. Thank you. All right, how are we on room? Because I want to really." Well, hang on. Let me take everything I can. Inventory full. Inventory full. I can take that. Yeah, this is going to require a couple of trips. And it's also going to require 50 wood for me to craft more uh, storage containers. Uh, Sequence of events, Pinstar! Ah. Right then, move aborted for the moment. Well, I'll move the I'll move the crab traps. So we might as well let, let this stuff churn. Um yeah, soggy newspapers. Get the garbage flowing anyway. All right, what else, what else do we, can we churn here? Oh, we can churn the goat's milk. Um, and yeah, you know what? We'll do the coal and the copper ore here. That's okay. Yeah, same. Add a coal from that. Oh, we'll make we'll do the move in parcels here. In fact, let's let's move what we can, like uh, all these smelters and all these smelters. I can't carry them. Eh. Right. Uh. All right. I'll carry what I can. We'll use uh, we'll use the, uh, the 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 chest that we normally use down at the uh, uh, to hold our uh, 
like scarecrows and sprinklers and such, we'll use that as sort of like a, a, a holder chest for the moment. While we gather up enough wood to make more chests. Although that doesn't have the world's most amount of... Oh, why am I putting these in storage? I'll just set them up. Um, these gold bars go in storage. Those goes in storage. The crab pots I gotta set up. The stone goes in storage. The copper goes in storage. The glasses go in storage. Quartz goes in storage. So does the iron. The copper pan goes in storage. Yeah, we're good. Let's sell the stuff we need to sell. And let's set up our um, furnaces. An admittedly excessive amount of furnaces. Now that I look at them all lined up like this. <laughs> but hey, after a mining trip, never have too many furnaces. And I can get the corner one there, can't I? I think I can. All right then. Let's um, actually let's go off and get some more wood. And actually, let's go. Uh, let's go. Let's go to the south. See if that trader is still there. And see if any of the wood in the public lands have recovered for me to poach. What do you got here? Berry seeds. Well, unfortunately, even if I can buy them off season, it doesn't let me plant them off season, so I can't get fairy honey. Uh, spinner, no. Cave carrots. You normally can't buy these things, um, but that's quite a bit for just one. Ooh, a rare seed. Yoink. A china cabinet. Oh, why not? Why not? And we'll pick up the hardwood while we're in the, while we're in the neighborhood. Oh, mushroom season, right. Uh, and I probably should harvest my mushrooms in my cave. I haven't done that one in a while. galaxy sword. I'm committed to doing this the hard way. I'm just that dedicated for you guys. <laughs> All right, picking up the uh, last thing. Yep, we got a sneaky slime. Why am I afraid of you? I shouldn't be afraid of you. I have enough hit points. All right. Yeah, now this stuff, yeah, that's a that's a fall thing. But we, well, we could plant it in our uh, in our our thing. But no, nah, hold on to it. Our greenhouse, that is. But we'll hold on to it for the moment. Now, since I can, let me just chop this one tree down. Might not be the wood hall I'm looking for, but it's the wood hall I deserve. Right. I don't need <laughs> uh, sap has kind of run its course in terms of usefulness. Well, you know what? I've got enough. Uh, I got enough stuff here. Um, that I can. Um, you can do another trip. Oh, actually, these crab pots. Let's set these things up. Where? Over here on the farm. What do I want? I want low-level fish and garbage. What does this uh, little pond get me? Low-level fish and garbage. <laughs> now, um, yeah, let's make a little room here because I want to be able to, I want to make harvesting these uh, just as efficient. 
as it was, well, almost as efficient as it was. And can I get... Oh. About to say, it's like, there we go. Ring around the, ring around the pondy. And as for these two, um, I could craft up a bunch more ponds and put them around my big pond here. If I really wanted to amp up the uh, garbage production. Well, for the time being, I'll just plop them there. If I get, if I happen to harvest them, I happen to harvest them. If I don't happen to harvest them, that's okay. They can sit. A little extra wood. A lot of extra wood. All right, actually, no, it looks like I am getting some growth here, which is excellent. So yeah, maybe I will finish off my day with some chopping after all. And get ourselves some more kegs manufactured. I'm going to have to uh, uh, get my tappers uh, going again on some maple trees. Not maple trees, oak trees. Um, because I am going to run out of maple resin. And these are all just pines. And I don't really have much in the way of the use of pine tar. But hey, why not? And hey, all this wood will be put to good use. <laughs> And cutting down these pre-grown trees will let the ones that I planted give them room, room to grow. Ooh, are you? I think you are. Well, you're too far away from me to really tap properly. Um, because all my tapping trees are going to be down, uh, down here. But I might hook tappers up to you guys just to get the production flow going so I don't hit that bottleneck too soon. Yeah, these are all my tapper trees, and it looks like they're going to take a little while to grow. But if we get a pair of tappers here, and hook them up down there, we should be in business. Boy, yeah, running rarity through this area is kind of treacherous. It's like a tree minefield. Uh, we'll plant another one of you with that acorn that first randomly fell on my head. Okay. Oop, doing the, uh, there we go. <laughs> the spazzing out there, Rarity. No need to be so dramatic. Oh yeah, get that thing so we can actually set it up in the house. And yeah, all right, we're good. Uh, yeah, we're we're about to have a couple of very young children. Let's put in place some fine china. I'm sure that'll go swimmingly. Sure, why not? <laughs> All right, folks. Well, if you like this episode and you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave me a comment, good, bad, or indifferent. Your feedback is always welcome. So until next time, this has been Pinstar signing out.